opportunity of the biopainter. But uh, you know, the, something like the, my company now, Scofia Pharma, maybe nobody knows about Scofia uh, in this room, right? And you don't know the, what kind of so company, what kind of building Scofia uh, existing, and then the, what kind of people working there. But uh, still, how to say, at the time of, for example, Bio International, Bio Europe, and then uh, partnering booths, and, nicely wearing a very good suits and uh, speaking and a nice conversation. Uh, but it's a not so actual, how to say, uh, uh, actual company, actual so business partner. We need to be known by the partner uh, in the case of Disco here. And at the time of the, uh, I worked for Takeda, I really liked to, to know what this partner is. So that's why I, Although now we said it's a nice to have, but uh, I said I, we, you should have that sort of visiting, on-site visiting, to know the people the working there, <coughs> to know the atmosphere, uh, also potential partner in the working. Then, if you got a good feeling about some, how to say, a good trust of the partner, then maybe you can make a good, how to say, mm -hmm. deal. If you for example, if you like to get married with your, uh, how to say, gentleman or lady, you really like to know to where that guy is going to make it the same idea. Mm -hmm. This is uh, my experience. But do you think it's necessary to take your entire due diligence team, or perhaps just a core business some, team? Some re representative. Somebody to starts out the psychology of the marriage. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, but the, it, it depends upon the deal. For example, yeah. if the deal is a more uh, uh, research-oriented type of the asset, maybe I really like to be with some represent, scientist representative with business development. Yeah. But uh, for example, that deal is uh, focused on some commercial asset. Mm -hmm. In that case, commercial Say the how to say the company has to have a nice building. Company has to have a uh, how to say nice nice atmosphere. Uh, I wouldn't say so. Maybe so. Some of you guys are representing for the still startup company. Uh, that's why I, I, let me introduce one other uh, example. That is um, my friend example. Maybe you know the company Kirin, the Japanese company. Yes. More than 20 years ago, mm -hmm. Kirin had uh, some collaboration with Amgen. Still, Amgen at that time really started. Then, uh, he, my friend so visited to the Amgen places. Just as uh, Christian mentioned, at that time, so Amgen scientists worked at the, like a garage, not like, uh, how to say, fancy pharma, pharmaceutical or laboratory. But uh, they visited there and then did the uh, due diligence and uh, uh, the killing people. That's a big CEO and the co-founder scientist uh, fighted each other seriously. And then at the time we discussing that the deal, that the scientists already left the company. And then the, that company's guy said, that, that guy is back to the, his home country in Australia, and then nobody knows where he is now. Then we, uh, we lost the, how to say, confirmation way to, how to say, who is the actual inventor, who is the actual, how to say, assignee type of stuff. But uh, that's why the, we put the sort of red flag on that issue for the, my company at that time. Then always I said to the, uh, company senior management. Uh, IP is a sort of the potential deal killer. That's why uh, management team has to be pretty much carefully think about that IP. Uh, because I really like to keep the IP group, my group, is a very important also position of the company. <laughs> that is uh, my strategy. But uh, still, how to say, also I instructed to the, my uh, IP chief member due diligence team member to think about the solutions and then they had to say collected the document from the, the potential partner. A lot of 
uh, actual lab notes and uh, other stuff and a lot of stuff. Then maybe it's not perfect, but the uh, likelihood the those how to say the previous co-founder scientist would not be a serious problem. We believe maybe 90 percent level. Then we made a deal at that time. But uh, unfortunately, later on, we we didn't see any serious problem from that issue. But uh, uh, those, how to say, title chain is uh, usually including uh, such a serious problem. I had a similar issue in other deal discussions. That's why IP team, due diligence team, has to be carefully looking into those records and then also relevant to record as well. Uh, but uh, just as Naomi mentioned, uh, I had uh, some, how to say, uh, cases. In that case, the uh, our potential partner really didn't like disclose a specific information directly to us. But uh, we are also discussing how, and also the, we try to convince them why we need such information. And then they also try to convince us why they do not like to disclose that information. <laughs> Then agreed upon, then both parties had to say agreed uh, to use external counsel. Yeah. External counsel is only that evaluation to be would work pretty much well. So in that case, we needed to have a, how to say, credible and uh, trustable <laughs> external counsel. Uh, but uh, if you have those so, as a good network, maybe you will be able to solve such a problem like me. That's why I wouldn't, I didn't have any case, there is no IP issue. Mm -hmm. no. But uh, fortunately, there is a no case that IP is a really killing issue. Mm -hmm. That's why we can find out some solution for the way. That's why the uh, and also, the many of the, how to say, internal counsel <coughs> always say, hey, Yorichi, this case is very a complicated I, IP issue is included. That's why I really do, do not like this kind of cases. Mm -hmm. Then I always say to those guys, hey, 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 you need to reconsider that you are thinking. Because there is an IP issue, that's why you have a job, right? <laughs> that's why there is, if there is a no IP issue, you guys are losing a job. That's why think about how to solve that IP. That uh, you need to, how to say, feel something like the fun to think about that solution. That is uh, my comment to the my third world. Maybe terrible, <laughs> terrible head of the IP. <laughs>